my first red carpet event. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, I had so much adrenaline afterwards. It was amazing. Uh, beforehand, we were told that we only had 30 seconds, you know, about 30 seconds or maybe one minute uh, per guest. So what I decided to do first was to ask my, um, my main question. I wanted to make a YouTube trailer of every guest pronouncing my name or maybe mispronouncing it because I always have such a hard time introducing myself in the States. So I thought, you know, that would be a cool idea. Um, I figured if I was lucky, I would be able to ask them a bit more and talk about a bit more about them, um, about their work or, or about Klexicon. Um, so yeah, here's what I have for you. So we're just setting up uh, the red carpet and I'm nervous as f So hopefully this will go okay. <laughs> so something, something's moving. I first talked to the organization of Klexicon. Um, you know, they were talking about Klexicon London and, um, you know, I wanted to know since London is the first European edition, whether, you know, Klexicon Amsterdam or Klexicon The Hague or something like that would ever be an option. Here's what they said. Yeah, everything's moving along perfectly and uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody in the UK. Great. Any yeah. plans for the Netherlands, maybe? Uh, it's really good one. <laughs> We definitely have plans. Uh, I can't tell you for what or where. Let's yeah. just say yeah. you're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was already asking them. Yeah. Uh, the Netherlands is that an option too? Maybe one day. We got to start. We don't want to go too quick. Too. Yes. Too big. Too quick. Thank you so much. I saw the four women of Happy Wife, Happy Life, and um, I don't know if you noticed, but it's two married couples who give marriage advice to you. So you can ask them questions and. Um, you know, you might not get the answers you like, but it's funny. It's Antello and Kristen Baker was there too. And um, I'm pretty sure this is not how you're supposed to interview people. But yeah, I had a great time. Or should I say a great time? Can, can I ask a question? Absolutely. How are you? Great. Thanks. It's um, a perfect setup. Look at you. Wow. Look at you. wow. That's the best shot of the day. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was wondering, I'm from the Netherlands and I have a blog about lesbian family life so I'm really oh. excited to see this happening. Are you come tomorrow to our live taping? Can you come? Can you come? Sure. Now I, you now have I come. have to. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're pressure. Pressure. Yes. I feel it's the pressure. It's very fun but we do give real advice so it's all about, because you know we see a lot To of save my marriage. I want <laughs> yes. to forever. Learn from we have mistakes. a one year old so it's necessary. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow. Boy, was it an accident? It was such an accident and now I'm stuck with it. No. <laughs> His name is Sebastian. He's so oh, cute. Yeah. He's starting two in a month. Um, anyways. <laughs> so how has your life changed from being a, a, a married woman to being a married woman with a child? Sleep is Sleep. a thing. It's so necessary. <laughs> yeah, they want to have kids. We do not. Oh. Yeah. Yes. No, it's amazing. Um, no, your life changes, but it's amazing. <laughs> My one question is that I have for everyone here tonight, but I've not asked it as a group yet. Can you pronounce my name? So maybe as a group. Let me get my wife to try first. Rachel den Holder. Wow, that's actually just like right off the bat. That's, was that's, it good? Was that right? It's good. It's Rachel den Holder. Okay, Rachel. So that's, that was close. It was close. I love that your name is Rachel. I, I knew. Rachel than everyone else. <laughs> I, that's amazing. I studied here and I never knew how to introduce myself, so now I do it as Gretchen. But I first tried, hi, I'm great, and it didn't go well. Oh, <laughs> she it would go well with us. You should just be best friends. Well with me. I'm thrilled with the woman. It's fine. Hi, I'm we great. We want you to be great. Yeah. Okay, well, and um, thanks for the, the, the comedy night. Yes, thank you. Oh. Yes, I wish I had half your energy. <laughs> you can borrow some of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it sometimes too much? Is it not, too much? Uh, <laughs> not for, I, I need a lot of entertainment. Oh, okay. and so luckily I'm here for it. But it, it's constantly not, It's not an act. Like, I would just walk in the living room at like 3 o'clock on a Wednesday with a sombrero on, and she's like, What's happening? And I'm like, Do you want to dance? <laughs> that's, yeah, our that's, our that's our house. That's our house. Oh, okay. We have good. A, lot of, a lot of fun, which I think is why we're going to stay married forever. Yeah, oh, good. Oh, no oh. Pressure, maybe. <laughs> I, I'm down for the challenge. I think they really want a question, okay. and I really yes, like them, so... Great <laughs> I did go to the taping the next day, so next week you'll see some behind-the-scenes footage. 
Last week I talked about anyone but me, about the panel and how much fun it was, so I was really happy to see Rachel and Nicole on the red carpet again. Um, about three months ago they recorded a video together with some champagne and it's called Nerding Out, so look it up. And I thought it was really funny, uh, so I asked Rachel whether she was coming on Nicole's channel anytime soon again. And Nicole said something about the um, anyone but me letter that she still had. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to find out when that letter is going to be revealed on, uh, on our channel. Rachel! Hi! Great! Wow, the panel this morning was awesome! Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, Yes! Fun. And uh, um, are you coming on her YouTube channel more often? Uh, I mean, I think I gotta pay her off a couple more times yeah. in order to make that happen, but... Uh, maybe bring up a few more bottles. She is holding that letter hostage, so yes. I feel like, yeah, I'm probably gonna get have that to letter. make that happen. Yes. Hi! Oh, no, 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 hi, 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 hi. You, you had two panels this morning? I did. Oh, um, A, when will the letter be refused? Oh my god. Uh, I, like, I was kicking myself this morning being like, I really should have brought that! Yes! Um, that's a great question. I haven't decided with Rachel when we're gonna get together, but we're gonna do it on a live stream. She just said like she's holding on to it and I need I need it. I mean we can do it soon. We live ten minutes from each other, oh. so as long as we can figure out a time to get together and, and film. We'll yes. Do it. I, I <laughs> so. told her to bring a lot of bottles. Oh we oh we will. Bottles. We will be. That makes it more fun. Yes, please. Right for us. <laughs> Definitely too. For, yeah. uh, for everyone involved. Yes. And um, um, the other panel about bisexuality? Yes. I was so happy to see that this packed. Yes, me too. That was so amazing yeah, and was amazing. right. So surprising in the best way, but also not surprising because it's like that that's that's really necessary. I mean, it shows just how many people are like, yes, yes. we need this. Yes. It, it's a whole different set of issues and it's so swept under the rug and it's so misrepresented in media that like that we desperately need bisexual people writing or consulting on these projects so that we get representation that actually is reflective of who we are as a community. Yeah. Um, and we just haven't seen that yet. So or we're just starting to. Yeah, and, and you kind of opened my eye with something because I the, the whole Ellis line in the L word, I never s knew that it was so hurtful. Oh, it was so hurtful. And I saw it, I saw it the way you said it. I was like, oh yeah, I never realized. Of course. Oh. It was terrible. Like it, it was because it was so cool when I started watching it to see a bisexual character. I was like, that's amazing. And then when she went just completely as a joke. Yeah, when it, it became a joke and a, like a, a regret and something that she grew out of. I was like, I felt so betrayed by everyone who who made those decisions. You know? Yeah, it sucks. I understand. Yeah. So, so, can you still pronounce my name? <laughs> Hit. Yeah, you have it! Kit. Oh, it's close. Everybody in the Netherlands also calls me Kit, so that's fine. Kleetje. Kleetje. Yes, I did not know you lived in Amsterdam. Yes, I did. 2006. It was the best summer of my life. And not because I smoked a lot of pot, because I didn't. A little bit, but not a lot. Just like fellow Dutch people, we don't smoke a lot of pot. No, it really it really wasn't. I drank a hell of a lot more wine than I smoked a lot. more like Dutch people. Yeah, yeah, that was fitting in with a lot. Yes, No, I was there I was there for an experimental theater program. It was amazing. Yeah, it was so cool. And then there was Anna Silk. Hi. Hi, Anna. I talked about this in the press room yesterday, but so can you give us like one word to describe Kevin? Are you going to see Serious. Serious. Beautiful. Right. Yeah. Sorry, that's me forever to think of that word, but it's that's it. If that was the one word, that would be it. Serious. Are you excited to work with Emily again? Of course I am. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Extra Emily. I have one question. Um, sure. I'm from the Netherlands. And so I was wondering if you can pronounce my name. Hang on. I'm Elizabeth Maxwell. Anything is fine. So um uh, Grietje den Holder. I'm, I think that's quite fine. Is that it? It's um, one I Yes, I think so too. I don't know. It's it's Grietje den Holder. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Now that has shown a lesbian I'm so happy. And then I saw Elise and Natasha. Yeah, I, I could, I could hardly handle that. <laughs> My heart is beating. 
so fast. Natasha, hi. Can I ask you one quick question? Um, I'm from the Netherlands. Hello. Hi. Oh. Um, can you pronounce my name? Okay. It's a challenge. Is it Yay or J? Uh, that's a good question. Yay. Greet Yay? You don't have to tell me. It's Greetje Den Holder. Ah, Yes, exactly. Amazing. And how is Clairvoyant going? It's going really well. Thank you yeah. so much for asking. It's in post production right now. And we're so excited to release it sometime in the future. And I'm just really grateful that everyone's been so supportive of it. I, I'm so excited. I really want to know what, it, yeah, what it's going to look like. Uh, any any idea when exactly somewhere this year? Within the next few months. Okay, great. Thank yeah. you so You're much. Welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I ask one question? Oh, great. Yay. Um, so I'm from the Netherlands too. We just met. Hi. Um, I have one question. Can you pronounce my name? It's a challenge, like on the Gritia Den Holder? Yeah, close. It's close. Nice. Thank you. I like it. What is it actually? Uh, Gretje Den Holder. Gretje? Yeah. Den Holder? Yes. Thank you so yes, much. You're so welcome. And good luck on the project. Thank I wanted to so ask much. the same thing, but great. Awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yes, thanks. Hi. 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 Uh, sorry. Um, I just have one quick question. Yes. I'm from the Netherlands. Cool. <laughs> Can you pronounce my name? Gretje Den Holder. I, that sounds perfect. Really? Way better than in Dutch. Oh my god, how do you say it? Gretje Den Holder. Oh my god, I wish I could talk like that. <laughs> yeah. well, I, well, you know, I think your accent is nicer. Thank you. I like yours. <laughs> oh. So maybe it's just what we're used to hearing. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> True. Thank you. And I I love Kyler, so I always ship everything. I am like anything to do with her, like, like get on an actual ship, be a relationship, whatever. Yeah, of course. Kyler, you've been on Supergirl. Yes. And is your character on Supergirl? She's queer. Right? Yes. I think it's one of those like we haven't really addressed the elephant in the room, but the elephant's very large. <laughs> and we have so many amazing characters in the DC TV universe yeah. who are queer. Do you think that that is from the top down, that that's something that they've been conscious about, kind of creating um, or fostering? Or? Well, I, I definitely think so. I think Greg Berlanti kind of has his hands on a lot of the projects uh, that are especially on the CW. He himself is an out man, and I think he thinks it's really important to have that representation, um, which is why I think they did such a great job with Kyler's role and bringing that the way they did. And, yeah, it, and so yeah, I do. I think it really does come from top down. I think it's they've made it a priority to tell the story the right way, uh, and I think it's nice also to just sort of be in the background. And we're not all the stars of our own lives, and I think it's kind of fun to have a character like Vasquez that kind of is just around and you just sort of relate to, and she's there, and you're like, oh, that kind of looks like me. Like she's kind of like me. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Netherlands. Hi. <laughs> and I was wondering, can you pronounce my name? It's a challenge. Our fan base is such. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. Greta Denholder. Kresha. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. These are all sounds that Americans never make. No, I know. It's already a TJ. It's so great. I love it. It's confusing. It's like it's it's awesome. It's awesomely confusing. What shows are there out there? That are I mean, was here. I think One Day at a Time is a great example of that. It's this Cuban-American family that's sort of completely embraced their gay daughter. And it's like, you know, struggling with slash um, fully accepting of her. And like, she's everything that I was when I was a kid. Super nerdy, like, um, just really into school. Very, like, uh, focused on studies and focusing on like, making everyone around her proud feeling that kind of like internalized pressure. And then on top of that, that character that is gay. So like coming out and going to the family and then that, that beautiful, beautiful Quintanilla episode. Have you watched it? There's this Quintanilla episode where her dad is invited and then he leaves because she's out. And instead of a dress, um, her grandmother has made a suit to it. I heard the grandmother character. It's, it's beyond phenomenal. And if that had been available to me like when I was a kid, I would have it would have been amazing. So that shows uh, I, Finally, I talked to Tamara, who plays Rosita in Winona Earp. And at the moment she's pregnant, my wife had 
a terrible pregnancy. Um, so watching Melanie in season two of Why Not Earth just jumping around, I was like, what? I, how is that possible? So I asked Tamara what it was like shooting Winona Earp uh, while being pregnant. Three. Yes. Is this hey. going to be part of... I can't, say. can't say. My boss might be here somewhere. <laughs> what do you no. say about uh, the season one work? Yeah. Um, epic. Epic. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's all I can say. Really and Rosita didn't die. I'm very excited. In season Yay. two. So Are we gonna find when out why she comes or if she doesn't come or if she does, either way, she'll come at some point. So. Are we gonna find out why Peacemaker turned blue? Um, That's a really good question, and I keep on getting asked that. I don't know. I don't know why it turned blue, because it only turned blue with Willa. Yeah. And Rosita. So. And Rosita, yeah. Did you get any pointers from Mel about being a working pregnant um, actress? Yeah, Mel and Anna. Anna Silk. Yeah. Anna's like amazing. She's like, she was also pregnant. Do. Yeah, yeah, she, she has two boys, so it's, it's really nice to like. I can't believe you're wearing heels. I know, it's, it, it, it's not for long. No, like, literally, I last half an hour. Um, and then I'm done. What is it like for you working, being pregnant? No, I, I was a little more. Um, I'm very optimistic, and I think that if you're pregnant or you're not, you, you know, you should. And you're not pregnant for long. No. It's like nine months of yeah. your life. But they do, you know, your baby does need you afterwards. So it does. It, it, it's a life changer. Um, in my personal life, in my career, in everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, it's a blessing, and it's definitely a role that I've been anticipating. Yes. Definitely been anticipating. But the clothes that I'm wearing is actually from this beautiful gay couple. Oh, really? Um, who have um, kids as well. Oh, wow. And um, I was like struggling with this maternity situation. I'm like, I don't have clothes. And then I found this um, store called Mom's the Word. And um, it just happened to intertwine that they're also, you know, LGBT and, and just like so supportive. That's it for the Klexicon red carpets. Uh, make sure to check out my Klexicon playlist on my YouTube channel. It has obviously uh, a lot of videos about Klexicon, but also uh, press room coverage. Things you've never seen on the internet before. So uh, enjoy. What? Hey. Oh no, I, I can't go to YouTube's page yet because I don't have enough subscribers. If you want more queer content, and I think you do, subscribe to my channel. Help me out.